Hi everyone, welcome to Operations with Complex Numbers. The first thing we're going to discuss is simplifying powers of i. So back in Algebra 2, we used to use the calculator when dealing with complex numbers and i. Since now we're in pre-calculus, we're not going to be using the calculator as much. We need to remember our powers of i. So i to the 0 is equal to 1, i to the 1st is equal to i, i squared is equal to negative 1, i to the 3rd is equal to negative i, and i to the 4th is equal to 1. And every 4th power of i, the pattern repeats itself. So you just need to memorize those. Now, in order to simplify powers of i, when the exponent is greater than or equal to 5, use the fact that i to the 4th is equal to 1, and the rules for working with exponents to simplify higher powers of i. We want to break the power down to show the factors of 4. So let's take a look at the first example, i to the 25th power. Now, if we use the pattern of 4, it's going to take us a while to get all the way to i to the 25th. So instead, we're going to use this shortcut. One way we can look at it is how many times does 4 go into 25? So I'm going to divide 4 into 25. So if 4 goes into 25 6 times, 6 times 4 is 24, and I'm going to have 1 left over. So if I have 1 as the remainder, i to the first power is equal to i. Another way I like to look at this is I like to break down i to the 25th. So if I have i to the 25th, I like to break this down, so I have one number divisible by 4. So I like to break it down as i to the 24th and i. i to the 24th, if I divide 4 into 24, that gives me 6. That just gives me 1. And then I'm left with i. 1 times i is i. Why don't you try i to the 202 power? Pause the video now and try. Well, one way I can look at this is how many times does 4 go into 202? Well, it goes in 50 times. So 50 times 4 is 200. Subtract, and you're left with 2 as my remainder. So that means I have i squared, which is negative 1. Now, let's try it the other way. If I have i to the 202, I want to break it down. So one of my exponents is divisible by 4. So that the closest one would be i to the 200 times i squared, right? Because you would add your exponents to get 202. So um, 4 goes into 200 evenly, so that's just 1. And then i squared, which we know is negative 1. Now let's move on to simplifying in a plus bi form. Now, simplifying in a plus bi form. Steps. To add slash subtract two complex numbers, we're going to subtract the real part from the real part and the imaginary part from the imaginary part. To multiply two complex numbers, we're going to use the box method and combine like terms. Now, again, we're used to using our calculator to do this. But again, now that we're in pre-calculus, we're using the calculator much less frequently. So we want to do this by hand. So I have the first question, 3i times 2i squared minus 5i. Well, I want to use the distributive property, 3i times 2i squared, and then 3i times negative 5i. So 3i times 2i squared is 6i cubed. 3i times negative 5i is negative 15i squared. But remember now, um, i to the third is really negative i. So that's uh, 6 times negative i minus 15. And we know that i squared is negative 1. So what I have really here is negative 6i plus 15. And we want to put it in a plus bi form, so our constant's going to go first, 15 minus 6i.
in the next problem, we have 2 plus i squared. Now notice this is really 2 plus i times 2 plus i. So here we're going to do the box method. So we're going to draw a box. 2 plus i, 2 plus i. So 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times i is 2i, 2 times i is 2i, i times i is i squared. We're going to add on our diagonal. So now we're going to have i squared plus 4i plus 4. But remember, i squared is negative 1. Plus 4i plus 4. We can combine negative 1 and 4 to be 4i plus 3. And again, a plus b i form, 3 plus 4i. Next, it says if a is equal to negative 3 plus 5i, b is equal to 4 minus 2i, and c is equal to 1 plus 6i, where i is the imaginary unit, then we want to do a minus b times c. So we're going to rewrite this as the following a, which is negative 3 plus 5i, minus b, which is 4 minus 2i, times c, which is 1 plus 6i. Notice here, I have two binomials being multiplied, so I want to use the box method. So I'm going to redraw it here. So I'm going to have 4 minus 2i, 1 plus 6i. So 4 times 1 is 4. Negative 2i times 1 is negative 2i. 4 times 6 is 24i. And then negative 2i times 6i is negative 12i squared. Of course, we want to add on our diagonals. So I'm going to have 4 plus 22i because I added 24i plus negative 2i minus 12i squared. So that's our product, but don't forget, we have this in the front, our negative 3 plus 5i minus that. Okay? Now don't forget that i squared is negative 1, so I'm just going to rewrite this again. So we're going to have 4 plus 22i minus 12 times negative 1. I'm going to bring this down again. So I'm going to be left with 4 plus 22i plus 12. Bring down the negative 3 plus 5i. And because there's subtraction, we want to distribute that. So I'm going to have negative 3 plus 5i minus 4 minus 22i minus 12. Then we want to combine like terms. So we have negative 3, negative 4, negative 12. That gives me negative 19. And then 5i and negative 22i gives you negative 17. And that's an A plus B I form. Now, try these challenge questions. Remember, do not use a calculator.